Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing well. So today I have a very simple DIY to share with you guys. I have finally decluttered, cleaned my craft room, made it back to my happy place. Um, you know, with all the stuff going on the last few weeks, my motivation wasn't really to be in my craft room, but I did a bunch of decluttering through the house. I did share on my Instagram some of the closet transformations and the rooms that I was working on. And then I finally headed into my craft room. I kind of saved that for last. Actually, I have the garage kind of for last, but then I thought I would repurpose some things that were coming into the house through groceries and share them with you how I was going to use them in my craft room and then I kind of became obsessed with the darn little box as I was creating it and thinking oh my goodness I wish I had saved more of these little um, baskets or wooden boxes because there are so many uses for it. So I do discuss some of the options that you have in the video but I really want to grab one or get my hands on one on a, a grocery possible haul um, to transform into a little basil garden in my kitchen. And if you've seen my cleaning videos, you'll notice that I always have fresh basil in the kitchen. That's one thing we use, like I use basil on eggs, I use basil on everything. Um, so I always have a fresh basil plant in the kitchen. It usually sits under the stove lights, so that's how it kind of keeps growing. And I'm thinking I'm gonna transform one of these little boxes into a mini little indoor herb garden if that makes sense but anyways I thought you guys may enjoy this little repurpose video I have been sharing some more little crafts here and there especially paper crafts I think I'm going to uh, sit down and film some more things for you guys if you're interested let me know down below if you guys want to see more Dollar Tree related things or paper crafts or clean with me videos I'm happy to share things with you guys I just don't really know what to post on the channel because I know a lot of you come here for my shopping um, especially at Dollar Tree and Dollarama and as you guys know I haven't been since the beginning of March so I will say I miss going to the stores, but for now, we'll entertain ourselves with these little things. I have shared some cleaning videos on the channel, um, more specific, like how I deep clean things or how I get grime and stuff off of things. So if you want to take a look through more, more recent videos, you'll see those. But in the meantime, here's a little DIY for you guys. I hope you enjoy. Bye for now. So today I'm actually going to work with this little clementine wooden basket it's all wood even the base is wood I'm gonna spruce it up a bit here to match my decor in my craft room keep in mind my craft room is very neutral and I already have natural woods in my craft room so I'm going to keep it to match the theme of my decor but you can you can stain this you can paint it you can wrap it in burlap you can put lace on it there's just so many things you can do with this little wooden crate so keep that in mind that I'm just giving you kind of a simple option so the base here is wood everything is wood I'm just using a staple remover to pop off the things you can stencil a design on the side or paint you can use vinyl from a Cricut machine you can use stamps you can write numbers you can decoupage scrapbooking paper wallpaper newspaper book pages the, it, the possibilities are endless i'm just going to give you a few options here as i'm doing it just because i'm not going to do everything so i'm going to use this actual paper um, pattern because i thought it matched my decor in my craft room best i'm very neutral very eerie colors in my craft room however i like a little pop of color here and there but everything else kind of complements that pop of color so i'm just going to cut out a couple pieces of this paper to fit the rectangle sides you can do the full sides or you can paint some of it and then just decoupage a couple sides it's totally up to you what you feel inspired to create but for me i'm going to remove these pieces of paper that come here with a pair of tweezers I'm just going to try to pop everything off best I can and then whatever doesn't come off is just going to get covered with a decoupage and then I'm going to apply the box right on top of the paper so I can kind of measure it out and just slice off the exact amount that I need here
I'm generously applying a ton of Mod Podge to this side. I like these sides because this is where it's going to be exposed um, where I am displaying this in my craft room. And now I'm just going to layer the paper right on top. Now this is a super thick paper. You wouldn't need as much Mod Podge if my paper was thinner. And I'm just gonna smooth this out the best I can because there's little grooves obviously from the staples holding the wood casing together or the wood basket. And wherever you're finding that it's still lifting, especially on the sides, just apply some more Mod Podge. You can use regular glue for this. You do not need to use Mod Podge. You can just use glue as well for this technique. Um, if you wanna thin out your regular glue, you can just add a little bit of water so you, it's easier to work with, but you definitely don't need Mod Podge. You probably hear all the racket in behind me, my kids, my husband. Everyone is home, of course, so there's balls bouncing and probably somebody hollering for me in a few minutes. So I'm doing the opposite side. Again, I'm not doing the sides and I could, I thought about painting it kind of a distressed white, but I'm going to keep it natural because I just love the way it matches the little ladder that I'd made and my little plant holder that I had made with natural wood pieces. Now I'm going to place some of this print on the inside and I just th think it's so cute now if you are going to use this as a little box for maybe planting herbs at home right now if you want to grow some basil or whatever it may be parsley and you want to put wood in I'm um, sorry <laughs> some soil in the wood box then skip this step and just fill your little box and make it a little planter and that works really well it has some breathing holes as you can see on the bottom so you may need like a little plate on the bottom but it's a perfect little box for a basil plant um, also if you're going to use it for the washroom and you're going to use it as like a little spa basket you may want a Mod Podge the surface on the inside there to protect it a bit but again I'm using this in my craft room I think I'm gonna place all my stamp my clear stamps in it I don't know I'll see once I'm done um, you can also use this in your pantry for potatoes or onions and if you have more than one little clementine basket case you can stack them they have these little legs you can just stack them on one another just like they do at the grocery store so next time I come across one of them I'm gonna save them because I am obsessed with the way this is looking so I started sanding off the edges there with some sandpaper and a nail file it just didn't work out the way I thought because the paper is so darn thick um, if you just have regular paper it would work no problem but this paper is like a wallpaper super thick so I ended up just using my scissors to cut it but yeah so the side here you can paint, you can add some stamps if you wanted to write even stamp out the word stamps, whatever it is, or a bath or laundry if you want to put this in the laundry room with some of your things. There's so many things you can write across this wood panel here, super cute ideas. So here I'm going to just show you, I'm going to put it next to my sewing machine and I'm going to keep my stamp things in it then i moved it from my little shelf oh there's the little plant holder i made as well on the channel super cute see how all like my natural colors come together and all these little things i've also made on the channel which are all displayed in my craft room but i think i'm going to use them for these clear stamps and just line them all up near my sewing machine then i moved it down to the bathroom and i was like oh my gosh this is so cute to put little rolled hand towels in and or your essential oils on display there's just so many uses to this little box. I'm completely obsessed. I mean, you don't even need to keep laying flat like this. I started playing around with it and then realized, oh, you know what? You can even tip it over. And just like this, you have now a whole new set setup. You can even put paints in it in your craft room and hang this on the wall. Anyways, if you guys make them, maybe tag me on Instagram because I'd love to see how you're repurposing these little clementine boxes. And until next time, everyone, thank you so very much for watching. Bye for now.